just say our RSL midfielder and two-time MLS Cup champion. We, we should bring out the flex pack a little bit, right? Like, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, of course. It's MLS Cup. So two-time MLS Cup yeah. champion. Yeah, then my comments the rest of the way seem like I'm smart. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to MLS Now, alongside Real Salt Lake midfielder and two-time MLS Cup winner, Ned Grabavoy. I'm Katie Witham. We're getting you set for tomorrow's MLS Cup championship between the LA Galaxy and the New England Revolution. It's all about the LA Galaxy right now, Ned. And when you look at this team, uh, I guess it's not surprising that we're here in LA once again. They are going for their third championship in the last four seasons. Uh, it seems like they're always here, almost. It, it does seem like that. And obviously when you have great leaders like Brandon Donovan and Robbie King, uh, those players are going to demand the most from everyone every single day. Uh, they've created a culture here at the Galaxy uh, that's really played into their continued success. You talk about culture, and I have to think it starts with the man at the top, with Bruce Arena. What kind of difference does he make? Yeah, like you said, we obviously can build around those superstar players, so that's a start. But if you look at some of the, the tinkering he's done this year with the roster and the lineup, he goes and gets a Dan Gargan, who's had a great season for, for the Galaxy at right back. Uh, if you look at the transformation of Robbie Rogers yeah. into a left back, which would you have thought that? most people would have not thought you that. You played with him. I have, and he's done very, very well in that mm -hmm. position for them, especially in the playoffs. Uh, and then you look at the, the continued development of Josh Zardis from the first half of the season into the second half, and how well he's done for them how big of a factor he's been for them for the entire season. Yeah, they definitely are a team that has it all together right now. Well, you mentioned Landon Donovan and Robbie Keane's effect, and they get all of the attention, but they're not exactly your key to the game, presented by the all-new Kia Sedona. What is it? Yeah, my key, my key for the Galaxy for this game is if Marcelo Sarvas and Janino can command a midfield on both sides of the ball. If they can get into certain spots in the field with their work rate, show up in good positions, get on the ball and dictate the pace and the tempo for the game, I think that can make it very difficult for the New England Revolution. The two players that are highly important for the way that the Galaxy want to play, like you said, maybe aren't talked about as much as some of the other players, uh, but still important nonetheless. Okay, I don't want to take a trip down memory lane because I know it's still fresh, but these are two players that you've played against in the playoffs, in the midfield. Just what kind of difference does it make if they do take control like that? Well, I think you've seen in the two legs in the first game, we, we stepped up to those guys and did not give them time and space on the ball. Uh, we pressed them, and so it made for a, a long night for them. Yeah. Uh, on the flip side, in the second leg, they were kind of free to do what they want. They could you know, go and get the ball off the back four and then link the rest of the team together. Quick outlet passes for them to counterattack quickly. Once that happens and Landon and Robbie Keener running at you, you're in big trouble. Yeah, and we did see that, sorry. That's we saw it. Okay, well that's not the only thing that I think makes a difference with this team. I had to give them a little bit of crap there, right? Um, it's all about uh, the experience that this group brings. And these are guys that have played together. You've been on teams where you've been around guys, you have the experience, you are familiar with one another. What kind of difference does that make at this point in the season? Well, it's huge, obviously, and they have big players uh, to play in a big game. Uh, they're going to lean on that experience tomorrow, and there's going to be very, very important moments in this game that can decide the outcome, and I certainly expect the Galaxy to be ready for that and to lean on that experience tomorrow. And we're going to see tomorrow if that experience pays off. You can watch all of the action. Kickoff is at 3 p.m. Eastern on ESPN, Unimas, UDN, and also in Canada, TSN1 and RDS2. We also want to know what you guys think. Do you agree with his keys to the match for the LA Galaxy? What do you think? Are they going to agree? Well, we'll see what they have to say. You know I, we are going to be checking those comments, so make sure to leave them below. And as always, keep checking in right here at MLSsoccer.com. We have all your MLS Cup coverage.